I'd like to show you just how easy it is to customize the style of one of the base maps from Living Atlas. I start signed in to the ArcGIS for Developers website and make a new base map style. And I pick my base map. I'm going to start from dark gray canvas, since I'm making a relatively simple base map with a dark theme. Once the editor loads, you can see that I have not one, but four different views of different areas of the world at different zoom levels. These small maps will help me evaluate my style as I go, and I can see changes that I make at multiple zoom levels. On the left, there are editing tools. We're going to start with Quick Editor, which is a tool that we made to help you style the hundreds of layers that make up a vector-based map by defining six simple colors for land, water, roads, boundaries, buildings, and nature. I'm going to choose a color theme, and I'm going to enter the color that I want to start from. And you can see that the editor has generated an entire map style just from this one color. Now, this isn't exactly what I want, so I'm going to darken the color of land. I'm going to choose a contrasting purple color for roads. And I'm going to dull down this very bright nature color. With those basic edits done, I can see from some of these smaller maps that I have all of the roads being exactly the same color. I'd like to differentiate the road network a little bit more. So I'm going to look at Long Beach, California. And I'm going to click on one of these smaller roads in the map. Now, I can edit any of the properties of this minor roads layer. But I can also see that there's a lot of layers that make up the minor roads in this style. So I can edit the entire group of minor roads all at once and make all of the minor roads darker. I can do the same change for the major roads. With the road network nicely differentiated, I want to make one final change. I want to change these labels for all the place names a little bit. And I'll do that in populated places. I can pick the font I want from any of the fonts in any of the vector base maps. And I can make those labels just a little larger. With my style looking good, I can save it and start using it in any of my maps or apps across the entire platform. Hopefully, this shows you some of the intelligent defaults and bulk editing tools we've built to help you style your own base maps. Back to you, Ewan.